Hello everyone, my name is Robert Bomar again. I'd like to read uh, some verses out of the King James Version Bible. And today I'd like to read out of Proverbs, the Old Testament, chapter 6. And read uh, verse 19. This is chapter 6 in Proverbs, verse 19. A false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brothers. Okay. So now we'll go and turn over to the New Testament. And uh, we'll read right here where it says, this is uh, Acts chapter 15, and I'll read two or three verses out of here. Okay. And read out of chapter 15, verse 7. And when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up. That's uh, Simon Peter. That's one of the apostles of Jesus. Okay, verse 7. And when there had been much disputing, Peter, Peter rose up and said unto them, Men and brethren, ye know how that a good while ago God made choice among us that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness, giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us, and put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. Now therefore, why tempt ye God to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we are able to bear? Seeing who he's talking about is, Paul. That's changed his name from Saul to Paul. Okay, now we'll, we'll turn over to uh, this is uh, Book of Acts chapter 9 and read 26. Okay, and when Saul alright, he changed his name to Paul after that. Same, same person. And when Saul was come to Jerusalem, he essayed to join himself to the disciples. That's the disciples of Jesus. Okay, but they were all afraid of him and believed not that he was a disciple. See, because he had a lot of people killed. Okay, then we'll turn over to the St. Luke's in the New Testament again, and it says, this is chapter 4 and verse 12. And Jesus answered, this is Jesus talking here now, and Jesus answered and said unto him, it is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Okay. So, uh, Peter was just saying right here in uh, chapter 15 of Acts and verse 10, Now therefore, why tempt ye God? Jesus said, Don't tempt God. Okay, now, okay. So we're going to turn over here in uh, the epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Galatians. Okay, here's what he had to say. This is chapter 2 and verse 11. But when Peter was come to Antioch, that's where was this talking about. That's where that's at in Antioch. Okay, verse 11. But when Peter was come to Antioch, I withstood him to the face because he was to blame. See, he, he's causing all kind of then we'll read on over here. It's causing all kind of trouble. Okay, then we go uh, and uh, we'll read verse, this is chapter 2 in Galatians and verse 13. And the other Jews disassembled likewise with him in so much that Barnabas also was carried away with their dissimulation. But when I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel, I said unto Peter before them all, If thou be a Jew, live us after the manner of Gentiles, and not as do the Jews. Why compellest thou the Gentiles to live as do the Jews? See now, in another book, Paul says uh, there's no difference between the Jew and the Gentiles. We're the all the same. Male, female, bond or free. And now, you see, he's, he's contradicting himself. 
Okay, and then he jumped, he stood Peter to his face right back there in Antioch. Okay, he said he was to blame for getting him and Barnabas uh, separated. Okay, so I'll close right here and I'll read this now. This is in uh, chapter 15 of Acts, and I'll read a few verses here. And some days after Paul, that's the one that changed his name, the disciples was afraid to hang, uh, join himself with him because they didn't believe he was an apostle. He had all, he wrote letters to get the Christians killed. Okay, verse 36. And some days after, Paul said unto Barnabas, Let us go again and visit our brethren in every city where we have preached. See, he's talking about going back again and preach again and leave all these people out. Okay, so I'll start over. And some days after, Paul said unto Barnabas, Let us go again and visit our brethren in every city where we have preached the word of the Lord and see how they do. And Barnabas determined to take with him John, whose surname was Mark. But Paul thought not good to take him with them, who, who departed from them from Pamphylia, and when not, went not with them to the work. And the contention was so sharp between them that they departed asunder one from the other. And so Barnabas took Mark and sailed unto Cyprus, and Paul chose Silas and departed, being recommended by the brethren unto the grace of God. And he went through Syria and Salica, confirming the churches. See, so Paul is to blame. He wanted to go back and not take a, a friend of Barnabas. See, Barnabas, right here in chapter 15, it says in the first verse, it goes, and certain men came down from Judea, taught the brethren, and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. Verse 2. When therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small decisions and disputations with them. See? They, them two was buddies. And then he withstood Peter to his face. He strode and discord among the brethren. You just, I just read to you in Proverbs about that. You can't do all that. Paul caused trouble, and then he withstood Peter to his face. He tempted God. Jesus says, do not tempt the Lord of God. And as I read the other day in Acts, where he said, I'm a Pharisee, the son of the Pharisee. See, you, you don't listen. You listen to Jesus, and you listen to Peter. Now, Peter walked with Jesus. Now, Peter walked. We know that. Gee, that was one of his favorite disciples. He loved them all, but he loved Peter. He instructed Peter on all kinds of things. And I'd like to close today is you can go research all this for yourself and you'll get uh, and pray about it and the Lord will reveal it to you again. It's the same thing now. You listen to Peter and to God. And Jesus is telling you right over here in red words, don't tempt you, don't tempt God. It says, why are you tempting God? Now it says here, that's closing. It says chapter 15 in Acts, verse 10. Now therefore, why tempt ye God to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples which neither our fathers nor we are able to bear? So he's telling you right there. And I'd like to close it today and uh, pray for me and I'll pray for you again. And think about that. You listen to God and you listen to the words of Jesus and his disciples, Peter, right there. You don't pay no attention to nothing else. That man there is causing, he's throwing discord among the brethren. You can't do that. If you do, you're in trouble. That's an abomination before the Lord. And I'd like to close today, and happy Thanksgiving to everyone, and God bless.